Have you ever wondered how the events of life, the day-to-day -day ins and outs, the simplest of gestures, and the most insignificant people, can somehow all work together to form a story, a story that must be told? But not because the story in itself is worthy of being told, or that the people involved are worthy of being heard. Rather, a story that must be told because the impact of that story on the life of the viewer can change the course of their life and the course of our world. This is one of those stories. This is the story of the birth, the life, and the future of the Christ Central Institute. Jason Conrad spent the summer of 2000 as an intern at Christ Central Ministries. There, he met Jimmy Jones and established a relationship whose future neither of them could fully realize. The vision statement of Christ Central Ministries had stated from the beginning that it desired to prepare forms to teach, to train, to equip, and to send out those anointed to carry hope and help to the world. The fulfillment of that vision began in 2002 when a donation allowed the purchase of a two-story building in downtown Wagner, South Carolina. Another donation allowed the renovation to begin, and with the walls of the Christ Central Institute starting to take shape, Jason Conrad returned to South Carolina to fulfill his role as the director. The first semester, in the fall of 2002, revolved around the simplest of gestures for what many would consider the most insignificant people. Leonard and Carolyn Rubo were seen by many as worthless eyesores and burdens to the town of Wagner. The Christ Central staff and students, however, saw them as an opportunity, an opportunity to show the unconditional love and compassion of Jesus Christ. Jason met Leonard one sunny afternoon as Leonard was walking eight of his dogs. But what he didn't know at the time was that back home, Leonard and Carolyn were housing six more dogs, 16 cats, six ferrets, two rabbits, two parakeets, one parrot, and two hogs, all of them inside their home. The Rubos were on the verge of eviction, and one local store owner offered money just to get rid of them. As the Christ Central students and staff began to help the Rubos move their possessions to a new piece of land and also find homes for their 43 animals, God began to reveal his plan. When the landlord of the Rubos saw the compassion of Christ Central, he wished to return the simple gesture Christ Central had shown the Rubos. The gesture he returned, however, was not so simple, nor was it small. He donated two of the oldest homes in Wagner, one of them the Rubos, and a beautiful piece of land to relocate them to. Now, both of these homes should have been torn down. There was no doubt that they were broken, they were dirty, and they were definitely worthless to the world. But the buildings that surround us, those places in which we work and live, have a tendency to tell more than we often realize. They tell stories about who's been there, about what's taken place, and, if given the opportunity, they can tell the greatest story of all. The story of turning nothing into something. The story of life. The story of restoration. Initially some laughed, and there were many in doubt of the possibility of restoring these homes. But there are also those who believed. There were those who believed in the potential of the homes themselves, and in the potential of the Christ Central Institute, which was in desperate need of an administration building and a women's dormitory. Among those who believed was a man willing and able to help the restoration. His donation allowed the relocation of both buildings to a new plot of land and the renovation to begin. More donations came as the work continued to progress, and today, on the 17-acre campus of the Christ Central Institute, stands two reminders of how hope and dedication can give worth to what once was worthless. The administration building and the women's dormitory have been completed and dedicated to teach, to train, to equip, and to send out those anointed to carry hope and help to the world. In addition to the 17 acres currently owned by Christ Central, verbal commitment has been given for more acreage to expand to a university-sized campus. Beyond the administration building and the women's dormitory, the campus currently consists of a men's dormitory, two classrooms, a state-of-the-art computer lab, two libraries, married housing, staff housing, and a warehouse. Plans are also underway for the new CCI Student Union.
This campus is working to train those with a desire to change their world through mission ministry. To do this, CCI is currently offering six-month, one-year, two-year, and four-year certificates in Christian missions, Christian education, and multimedia. Believing that communities are changed when the people within the communities begin to change, CCI also offers a GED program to help those within Wagner and the surrounding communities better their lives. Another way to receive training through CCI is through the intensive programs designed to give a full college semester of training in a one-week time frame. CCI has also begun teaching at remote locations to give more people the opportunity to be equipped and trained in the methods and meaning of mission ministry. Other options include weekend classes, customizable scheduling, and a variety of conferences and events given throughout the year to promote the need and benefits of education and art in all communities. All of these areas are working together to provide education to over 100 students per semester with no tuition cost to them. Because of the many generous donations and the heart of the volunteer staff, all education is available with 100% scholarship to those willing to make a difference in their community and their world. It is truly amazing how the events of life, the day-to-day -day ins and outs, the simplest of gestures, and the most insignificant people can somehow all work together to form a story. This is our story, the story of the Christ Central Institute. Our story is unique, but it is not alone. There are many stories that have been told, and many more yet to be told. And, if you are willing, the events of your life may form a story, a story that changes your life, a story that changes your community, and perhaps a story that changes our world.